All right, guys. Um, this is a 2003 Jeep TJ SE edition. Uh, it's a 4.0 straight six, automatic transmission. And because I am doing this uh, one handed, I will not be shifting. Yeah, I know, stop booing. I should be doing it in first, second, then drive. But um, <clears throat> this will be a uh, zero to 60. What I'm gonna do is there's no one behind me, so the on-ramp to the highway, as long as there's no traffic, I'm just gonna fucking go. So, uh, yeah. Red light right now. Yes, I know I need gas. Were you Wrangler owners out there? Yeah, we, we see that quite a bit, so. I'm not gonna bother putting a timer on the screen or anything, you can just guess. And once again, I can't stress enough, this is an automatic foot to the floor. Uh, the only modifications are my slightly larger tires and of course, uh, cold air intake. And uh, we're gonna come to a complete stop here. And go. miles an hour. Not bad for a friggin' Jeep. Thanks a lot guys for watching and as always, have a nice day. Uh, while on this stretch of highway, I figured I would film while driving here. So I am going uh, with overdrive turned on, uh, 55. My RPMs are a little bit below 2. Looks like they're at uh, uh, 1800. A little bit lower than that. Um, on a 19 gallon tank, I'm averaging about uh, oh, 220 to 240 miles a tank. Now, if you watched my previous video about how the gas gauge on a Wrangler, at least a TJ, I'm not going to say it's inaccurate, but for instance, it was below E, and when I filled up, I still had at least two and a half, three gallons in there. So you can probably easily get at least 240 miles out of your tank. Now obviously with a 4.0 straight six, as you saw earlier, I friggin' floored it. That was easily a fucking gallon of gas probably. I mean, maybe not exactly, but you get the idea. Obviously with any vehicle that you drive, you know, it really depends on your driving habits and it, the same thing goes for a Jeep, especially a Jeep. I mean, these 4.0s, they were not designed with gas mileage in, in mind. I mean, you gotta figure the engine was around the same overall type for at least 20, years or so with minor refinements and the mileage stayed within about two or three so you can only get so much um, but uh, you know if I go to 60 miles an hour and hover there we're still yeah we're just about at two, 2k 2000 rpms which is pretty good for this thing um, I kind of wish I could get like a good solid 260 and I probably could if I was on the highway and that's the other thing too obviously it depends on if you're on the highway or if you're you know city driving um, but yeah, what do you guys get in your Wranglers? Do you get worse? Do you get better? I was actually, honestly, I haven't done a zero to 60 or anything like that or flooring it for that length of time in a while. And considering it was left in automatic, that was not a bad, uh, a bad, uh, you know, zero to 60 time. I'm going to count this when I get home, but I think that was like a good seven seconds or something like that. That's not bad for this beast. Um, yeah. BSG Truck 88, you guys have a good night.